how to use Canva website for Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use a Canva website to help your Shopify increase the, uh, let's say here, the traffic and also the leads. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Canva.com and also you need a Shopify account. So you are going simply to sign in for your Shopify account. And as you can see here, we have the admin dashboard. We are going simply to visit the products into your Shopify store. And then we are going to decide to create a product page or a landing page for it. For example, we are going to click on the uh, this one. So we are going to click on it and then we are going to see the images and uh, save them for our, uh, as you can see here, uh, the page that we need. So we are going to click on save as. Here we are going to set up on the downloads. This is the first page or the first photo. Uh, also, we are not going to give a three or four, but we are going only to give one photo, which is the most essential one. So now we need the title and also some of the description. We're going to head over Canva again. Then we are going simply to create a custom size which is going to be here 1366 by 768, which is a format of website. We are going to see it right there. As you can see, it is suggested that it is a website. Now we are going to add here the image. We're going to upload our image. So we are going to set up here all. We need so the photo as a PNG, so we are going to download it as a PNG. So I have viewed or previewed the image into my Shopify uh, page. So we are going simply to head over here. We're going to see the image, click on the right button, click here, save image. And now we are going to get our image again. So it is uh, a readable uh, here, as you can see, format. We're going to add it right there. So make sure that you are going to put it here, make the uh, center and focus for the image. Now we are going simply to get our uh, title. So we need a title that is going to be a little bit here, uh, oil. Um, so we are going to put here uh, 100 oil diffuser. So we are going to add a text heading, put it like this. So we are going to uh, copy, paste, put a space here. We're going to set this like that and boom. So now we are going to set this title like that. Oils diffuser. Now this is the title. Now we are going to add here uh, the description. So we are going to see the description right there. Specification, we need a little description. So maybe we are not going to see here a description, but we can see some uh, images. We don't want to add some images, but I don't know. So maybe we are going to set up these uh, descriptions right there. We're going to head over here. Then we are going to add subheadings. Paste it right there. Put it here to the left. Select all. Put it to the left. Like that. Boom. So we are going to put it like that. And now we are going to select all of these, not put them as both. So we are going to put it as a standard text. Now for the uh, price of the uh, product, we need to set it. For example, we are going to add uh, this one. We are going to duplicate it. Put here price. Uh, 
and now we are going to put here six ninety nine dollars this is just an example i'll not be dollars right there so we are going to put it here like that and now we are going simply to add a let's say here something like a button so we are going to the elements then we are going to select a button now we are going to put a shape of the button and now we are going simply to duplicate only the title because it is going to be something bigger and also bold by now this is the uh, call to action so we are going simply to put it like that now we are going simply to give or get the url of the product we are going to copy it click on the buy now we are going to click on more click on link paste the button done and boom so if i want to preview here the a page we are going to click on preview and then we are going to wait to see it in the real uh, screen here we have the mobile screen and here we have the uh, desktop screen so when you click on buy now it will take you directly to that page and this is how we can use the uh, canva website for our shopify store uh, this does not stop here you can add whatever you want you can create multiple or right there as you can see uh, products or product landing pages uh, to uh, your Shopify store and you direct them don't forget to publish the website because you are going simply to get a published website or you can go ahead and click on share then you are going to download this as not as a, a PNG but you are going to get it as a PDF standard. Why? Because the image will not show the link. So when you download it as a PDF, you're going to distribute it and also uh, make it to uh, the referrals and they will get a clickable link right there. So for the publishing, you're going to click on publish website. And as you can see here, in my case, they have already published so much websites. Or a lot of websites so i cannot uh, use it anymore because i am on the regular version of canva if you want to publish more than five websites or get five more than five urls you're going to get the subscription of the uh, canva pro and this is it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one